Okay guys, while we were in Barakay, we thought we'd share with you some thoughts about making decisions when you're on a crossroads in your life. Saya di Seriously. And enjoy kami. And just wanted to share with you uh, life-changing thoughts on making decisions when you're at the crossroads. So hope you enjoy. Hello. You guess where we are? Yes, this is Boracay. Right behind us is the resort that used to be Fridays. Yes. Yes. So yeah, well, it looks again. like it looks like the close na siya eh. So so sad. Katabi kasi ng lint. Eh, Siyempre, mas social and new ang lint. And so I guess it will survive sad. the pandemic. Yeah. So sad kasi this Fridays resort is filled with memories for me. Nonetheless, we're so what happy. memories? Eh, dito kaya ako kaya sa the first time. Yeah. I know, perception. Your um, wedding by the beach. Yes. So, yeah. So we're happy to be back in Boracay uh, after uh, lockdown number three. Mm. But um, well, sadly, hindi namin na abutad yung ano yung beach for days. Yon, yeto. Ngayon kasi, marami ng tao since alert level 2. Let's show them. Ha? Huh? Okay lang. Let's show them. Let's show them what's there. Yeah, so... Yeah, that's just how it looks like. Hindi ganun, I mean, compared to the heydays where it was super, super damaged. This is still okay. It's manageable. Manageable, pero marami ng tao. We were hoping to get here na halos wala ng tao. Like, we see in the pictures in some vlogs of some people. But nonetheless, this is a sunset. <laughs> anyway, there, the sunset and the paraos and the on, frisbee players. There you go. Go, 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 That's the Boracay that we know of. Crossroads. How do you make a decision? Okay, when you're faced with a major decision that you need to make, how do you make it? I remember when I was in uh, a new graduate in college and I was choosing between uh, joining the beauty pageant or going to Guam to take my physical therapy board exams. Mm -hmm. I felt like I was on a crossroad. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember um, I was very active in a charismatic group back then, Ang Lingkod ng Panginoon. And our leader, we were, we were divided into you know, small action care groups. And the leader of my care group, si Clara Bill, always uh, encouraged us to pray for big or small decisions good. and so i thought maybe this is a decision that i should pray for mm -hmm. and it was confirmed by this this there was sort of like a, something in my heart that was telling me to download my emails that particular day and when i did there was this email that was sent to me at random hmm. And the type, the subject of the email was crossword. So I thought maybe this is an article that I should read. And so I read the whole, you know, the heart article. At the end of the article, it said, when you find yourself on a crossroad, look for the cross on the road. So for me, it's a confirmation that I, I should pray for this decision, knowing that one way leads to my childhood dream, which is become, to become a beauty queen. And another road leads to another dream of mine, which is uh, to go to the U.S., practice physical therapy, train to become a doctor there. Both are, you know, good decisions. One childhood dream, one professional dream, but which one is the best? 
I've always believed that God knows what's best for us because He loves us. And so, I prayed for the decision. The prayer involved reading my devotional for the day. And so, I opened my 365 devotional book because I haven't read my devo, devo that day yet. That day was January 27. But when I opened the, the book at random, it opened to February 20. Mm. February 20 was the date of the coronation night. Mm. And when I read the Bible verse and the reflection, mm -hmm. God was telling me to be visible that night. And that was exactly what was on the reflection, be visible. Oh. The reading was uh, a scripture in the book of Mark, which is about the lamp on a stand. That it should be on a table to shine its light across the room and up under a bowl. So it should be, um, yeah. So the, the reflection was be visible. So para siya sabi ni Lord sa akin, be visible on coronation night. Sabi ko, Lord, yung basin na sabi mo sa akin. So what should I do? I mean, so, dapat hindi ka nakatago. Oo, oh, hindi ako nakatago. Lalabas ako sa coronation night, be visible. Sabi ko, for what purpose? There has to be a purpose greater than, you know, just me showing off that, you know, I'm beautiful or I'm I'm smart and all this. So, I went, uh, I opened the book to January 27, which was that day. And then, January 27 read, about the story of the call of Levi. Mm -hmm. Levi was a tax collector that Jesus met. And in that passage, Jesus said, follow me. So Levi at the time dropped his work as a tax collector and mm -hmm. immediately followed Jesus to that become was a his lucrative. disciple. That was a very lucrative uh, It was career. a very lucrative career for him. Yeah. But he dropped it and to follow Jesus. Follow Jesus to become his disciple. His, his name eventually became Matthew. And he wrote the gospel according to Matthew. So that was the basis of my decision. We need prayer. So now that we are on a that you mentioned you feel that you're on a crossroad, it's really important that we do it in prayer. Okay. So why do you so why do you feel that you're on a crossroad? Because our family is at a point where we are about to make a decision, we made a decision, and it's a matter. The decision will determine whether we're going to stay at the status quo or go in a different direction, like the road less taken of Robert Frost. Road less traveled. Road less traveled, and it will make a lot of difference. And I think will affect the future our children it's going to be a life milestone okay. I'm excited ako because I'm a beach person mm. I love being close to the water mm -hmm. I love being close to nature I love watching sunsets that's what we're doing now and so and in fact one of my dreams is you know to live by the beach mm. <laughs> excited <ako. laughs> Yes.